again, Darius Blackheart back with another episode of A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. Last time, we spent the day with the Bunny family. We got to know a bit more about McCready's past and the fact that McCready might have been a boy, maybe? McCready's trans? Question mark? Uh, that part is still a bit clueless about what McCready actually is, but well, that she might McCready might actually be that since when the Ma Cosette made a promise to her, she said boy or girl we would always be friend, and knowing that memory was on McCready's birthday, and Marquis the bunny dad uh, said birthday boy. I love it when you do that with characters, like a trans character? Awesome! Now let's see what happens this time. Good to see you. It's good to see you too, Papa. Are you ready to go home? Mm-hmm. Did you have a good time? She seems to have an amazing time. It makes me so happy that uh, girls get along so well. It makes me very happy too. Thank you for taking care of her, Morkis. It's not a big deal. My kids are always inviting their friends over to play. I know Cosette and McCready are a little older now, but it doesn't mean they can't spend time together anymore. That's a good point. Still, thank you. <laughs> You're almost as formal as your daughter, John. I'm not that formal. Neither am I. <laughs> They're so alike at them. <laughs> to me, you two are. It's not a bad thing, though. I think it tends to be funny. Alright, I'll take her as a compliment then. Well, we'll be going our separate ways now, Marcus. Alright, I hope you two have a good day. You too. Being around the planks and uh, the dream I had. Papa? Yes? What was Mom like? <clears throat> oh. Never mind, you don't have to tell me. Oh, no, no, I think it's about time I told you about your mother. You deserve to know, it's almost been two decades. Papa, are you sure? I'm sure. It all be, it all started almost 19 years ago. I was 16 at the time. Your mother was 18 and was known for being very behind in school. I wasn't so unfortunate. Even though I was from a pretty low class family, I cared about my education and managed to get good grades. The day I met her, I wasn't pretty. I beg the differ? Holy crap, you look amazing, mate! I kept noticing your mother, Mardi, everywhere I went. She would always stare at me. But because she was always with other men, I didn't take it as anything. Dude, have you noticed how she always looks at you? <laughs> I make it sound like that because look at him. He's kind of um, high. <laughs> Uh, okay, just a What? There's she. She's been staring at you like you're some sort of ta tastiest celery. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She's ever seen or some shit. Celery? Yeah, whatever lamb seed. Don't ask me. Are you true? 
guy is talking about Marty. Yes, why? I did it for a, I did it hurt for a bit. Oh, did things not end well? No, nothing like that. I honestly enjoyed dating her, but I heard she got a thing for carnivores, especially dogs. Oh, why would a little sheep want to date a dog? I mean, lambs are so weak. They even have those wobbly legs like deer do. <laughs> Look at him. He looks so good like that. Man. I heard she's just some slut who likes the thrill of fucking someone that could eat her. <laughs> okay. I heard that too. Well, you had sex with her. Was it like that? Maybe? She didn't seem scared at all. If anything, I was sort of scared of her. She took church way too, many, too much, but that might just be something to do with my preference. Oh, great. Not only does she have a king for trying to get eaten alive, but she has a king for making some poor bastard do that. <laughs> okay, straight to the point, I guess. Are you just sure it's not some big misunderstanding? What? Well, what if she just likes the personality traits of dogs? Their morals, their values. That's a pretty decent point. If that's what you think, why don't you go talk to her and see how long it takes for her to suck you? <laughs> what? You, you really think that'll happen? Dude, she's taking it from every single carnivore in this school. Wait, what? That sounds a bit too much like these stars. That can't be pos- that can't possibly be true. Yeah, cause she hasn't gotten anything from you. Yet. <laughs> so, you slept with her too? I'm not touching that <laughs> with a Tyson football. <laughs> oh, get a bit harsh. I really think you're being dramatic. I will talk to her. That way you guys will see she is really not so bad. He's giving me like Goshi vibes, that's absolutely going to say. Hello Marty, was it? He's, gonna, he's probably going to regret this, I feel like he's will. Oi, that's my name. I'm John Mort, it's nice to meet you. I look at, I shook her hand, feeling the responsibility of being, to be gentle. <laughs> I'm Marty Argo. It's nice to meet you too. I felt her hold my hand after I released to, <laughs> as she ceased to wave her arm up and down. You, you're a rather handsome man, John. Thank you, ma'am. You're very pretty for a sheep. For a sheep? Do you think sheep are ugly? No, this is not what I meant that. Yeah, he, he's like definitely Legoshi. It would have surprised me if he's been inspired by that. That is for this part at least. <laughs> I'm only really attracted to dogs. Oh, you've ne never thought about what it would be like to be with a herbivore? Oh, uh, no? <laughs> Excuse me, what? Why is there a question mark there? Oh my god, he's definitely, yeah, he's Legoshi. Yeah, Jared is Legoshi. <laughs> you say that as if you're unsure. No, I'm rather sure. I'm not, I don't know why you'd ask such a thing. You don't like the idea of having power over someone? Being able to have total control over them? No, that sounds horrible! 
What about the idea of letting someone have total control over you? That sounds even worse. <laughs> you seem so scared of everything for a black wolf. Well, wolves aren't as brave as you may think. Really? Now? Really now? Yes, we just tend to stick with our pack. We only really enjoy spending time with those we love, not much else. How cute. How about I show you something? What are you going to show me? Something that you'll enjoy. Cover your eyes, okay? I did as she said, and I felt her drag me along. I was bumping with people left and right, probably because she was nowhere near as wide as I was. After several minutes of running, she suddenly slowed down. Come here. I could hear the smile on her face. I heard the door creak open and she pulled me into whatever room she had brought me to. I heard the door close and locked. I opened my eyes before she said to, said to do so. What's going on? We're in the supply closet, silly. Why? I felt her slim and delicate head rub up and down my chest. <laughs> okay? You, you really don't know why? No, am I supposed to know? No, it's okay. I can teach you. Sliding her hand down, I felt her take off my pants we went this she started by <laughs> taking my belt thin on buttoning my wait, wait wait what what oh my god yeah, this is just beast stars all over again oh my god what <laughs> marty i i don't want to do this i just met you it it just wrong to do something like this you know that, don't you? He, he's for sure actually right about her. Don't lie. You know you're enjoying this. I am really not. I want to quit. I want you to quit this. <laughs> what are you going to do to stop me? You know how we clams are. If you hurt me, it'll be all over the news. I bet it'll... It'll say giant carnivore murders innocent sheep. If you close your eyes, maybe you can image a cute dog girl doing this to you instead of oh, what? She had thought so much of this through. Is this what she does to people? This feel really, really wrong. Close your eyes, dog. I followed her commands once again. I felt her touch and brought things I didn't want her to be anywhere near. My body would sporadically convulse out of sheer disgust and pain. <laughs> I wanted it to stop so bad. <laughs> I just kept my eyes closed. I let her do whatever she wanted. I'm not even sure how long it lasted. But I was so thankful it was over. Me and you are dating now. What? I thought you had a boyfriend. Oh, I did. But I'm going to keep your baby. I avoid all the other ones, but, well, a hybrid of a black wolf and a sheep? That would make for an interesting story. Oh, and John, if you ever tell someone about this, I'll cut myself into bits and blame it all on you.
<laughs> oh my gosh, he's evil. Goodbye, John. But goodbye, Marty. Oh my gosh, she's... Like, two episodes ago, we got, like, a little description of her about, like, being all friendly, being able to be friends with pretty much everyone. This is the whole opposite of what we were told. Look at that, she's evil. She was, she was all hell, manipulative, and... Oh my god! I did not expect this! A few months went by and eventually my friends found out. John, you really thought all this would be a good idea? I fucking told you. Now look where you are. <laughs> yeah, they did tell him! Really, Marty? You should have known better! I don't know who he is. I haven't met that guy. She would tell everyone. Did you know I'm pregnant with a carnivore? And she would tell them this over and over and over again and again. Dude, look at her smug. <laughs> I'm so happy. Aren't you excited, John? No, I'm not ready for a child, especially with you. <laughs> she did not like that. Well, you better start acting like it. This child is ours, all right? And everyone's going to know about it. It'll be a freak of nature, a real head turner. Did you, do you understand that, dog? I... I understand, yes. Good. I'm glad you do. I'm going to... I'll be going into labor soon. And you won't have to deal with me for much longer. What? What do you mean? Did you really think a little lamb like me could survive having a hybrid with a big, strong wolf like you? Well, I thought maybe... <laughs> That's pretty funny. I hope being a single father treats you well, John. You're a nice guy. I couldn't have done this whole thing if you weren't so complacent. What do you mean? Well, I've always wanted to have a baby with a carnivore, but I wanted it to be something extreme, something that com completely goes against everything we've ever known. God damn, you're fucked up. Like, the whole opposite of everything we've heard. And I wonder, how did John become friends with Marquez, another bun, a bunny? What? Damn, she's messed up. And I'm sure you, you've heard all the old stories about the wolf killing the sheep, right? We aren't supposed to go together. And that is the part I enjoy. We're creating something new. A being that has never been seen before. So, you just wanted to play God? <laughs> I'm not playing God. Who's to say I'm not God? I don't think you're God. Oh, why? Did I beat the little puppy up too much? No, not that. God, God can be cruel. I know that. You're no, you're not God because there, there's not a single person who looks up to you. You don't look up to me? No, no, I really don't. What? I think you're a horrible person. You've done awful things, not just to me, but to everyone you meet. I hope you do die during childbirth, so I can raise a child better than you ever could. Do you really think that? Yes, I'm tired of acting like I don't. If I've been going along with your little plan, and I'm sick of it. You're so cute when you're angry, John. God, stop saying things like that! 
Oh, why? Is the big bad wolf going to eat me? No, I'm not, because I'm not fucked up like you are. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what's with that expression? Take care of the child for me. And you better let everyone know what it is. <laughs> let me start up. And you better let everyone know what it is every chance you get. Those were her. Those were the last words she ever spoke to me. I remember the exact voice she used to tell me that, the tone, the pitch, the cadence. I remember it all. It was haunting. I always thought I would hate you, that you would be the worst thing to happen to me. But then I saw you. I was overwhelmed. Never did I ever think for even a second that someone as horrible as your mother could birth the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. She does look really cute though, I'm not going to lie. I wish I could say I regret what I told her, but I don't. I'm glad she died. She would have corrupted you. And I wouldn't have the perfect little girl that I do today. I'm sorry. That was a rather long story, huh? Papa, I'm sorry. Oh, why? I look like her, don't I? I'm always more like a sheep. Oh, I mean, I'm way more like a sheep. That's what makes me happy. What? Your mother wanted you to look like me. She wanted <coughs> to... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit. She wanted to be a herbivore who had a carnivore child. I know it's spiteful to say this, but I'm so glad she didn't get what she wanted. So, you don't hate me? No, never! Like I said, when you were born and I saw you, I knew I could never hate you. I just would never have it in me. Really? Yes, really. Seeing you grow every day, seeing how far you are from your mother, that makes me happy. But you make me tell everyone I am a herbivore. Yes, because that's the last thing she would have wanted. Not only would it put you in danger to tell people you're a hybrid, but telling everyone this would bring her some kind of satisfaction. <clears throat> Even though she's dead, I, I really don't want her to be happy. Even in the afterlife. I understand. I understand that. She seemed like a really horrible person. I'm glad she actually understands that. She was. She really, really, really was. I'm proud of you for being nothing like her. We can look at pictures and compare all day, but who you are in the inside differs so much from your mother that your outside barely matters anymore. So what if you are a carnivore or a or an or, or a herbivore? Uh, and should not be there. Or both. You have a good heart and that's what matters. Thank you, Papa. Of course. It's late. I'm sorry for keeping you up. Go to bed when you can, okay? Yes, Papa. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. What Papa told me today, I feel so horrible for everything he went through. I said, so do I. Holy hell, her mother was fucked up. Goddamn, nothing what they originally made it look to be on previous episodes. 
I'm finally glad I have some closure though. He said I wasn't as bad as Mama. If only he knew. Huh? Wait, 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 what? What does she mean by that? Does he find murder to be a less punishing sin than what my mother did to him? I wouldn't blame him if he did. At least murder puts you out of your misery. And at some point, that woman has caused him a certain type of pain and suffering that will be lifelong. Is there something we don't know about McCready? She's speaking of murder me too much now. Speaking of which, last time, there was some, like two episodes, there was a murder on the school. And her two quote unquote friends, the crazy ones, are afraid of McCready. Like, think she might have been her? But. Does she know something? Is there something that we don't know that wasn't shown? Or I mean, I'm curious. Okay, and here was a dream and This is a good place to leave it. God damn, I did not expect that about her mother. Heck, I did not expect to hear about her mother at all. Wow, that really clears up my curiosity about her, but... That was the whole opposite of what I was expecting, of what I was expecting. I did not expect a uh, evil, manipulative... Oh, what's the word? Look, look, torturing? No, it's another word. I cannot get it. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't get it out right now. But I could, such a messed up person. Holy hell. I'm mind blown. I'm actually mind blown right now. I'm speechless. Uh, this is a this is a perfect place to leave it. Honestly, I hope you like it. If you did, hit that like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I uh, I hope to see you all next time. I'm Ben Darius Blackheart. Goodbye.